trapezoidal rule is a lot like a Riemann sum in that we are using a geometric shape to approximate the area beneath the curve. What's different though is that you get a lot closer of an approximation than with a rectangle because a trapezoid cuts off part of that empty space that occurs when you have a rectangle. So you get much better accuracy with a trapezoid. Now keep in mind that the area of a trapezoid is the height divided by 2 times your first base plus the second base of the trapezoid. Now the height of the trapezoid really is just our width here, the distance between x1 and x2. And our heights are all going to be the same as we had back when we did the Riemann approximations. We want the heights to be the same. Now our first base is the first length of your trapezoid. And the second base is the second length of the trapezoid. So for example, if I were looking at the area of this trapezoid right here, the very first one, I would have this h, the width, divided by 2, times f of x1, because that's my first length, plus f of x2. And that would be the first trapezoid. Now, let's actually find the area beneath this curve of f of x from x1 to x sub 5 using trapezoidal rule. So our first area is h over 2 times f of x1 plus f of x2. Our second trapezoid again is h over 2 times f of x2 plus f of x3 plus our third trapezoid is h over 2 times f of x sub 3 plus f of x sub 4 and finally our last trapezoid is h over 2 times f of x sub 4 plus f of x sub 5. This is an approximation for the area beneath the curve using trapezoids. Now take a look at what we can do here. We have h over 2 multiplied by each of these different heights added together. Why don't we just factor out an h over 2? If we were to factor out an h over 2, we now get h over 2 times, here we have f of x sub 1. We have 2 f of x sub 2. So we have 2 times f of x sub 2. We have 2 x sub 3s. Here's one and here's another one. And we add those together, we get 2 times f of x sub 3 plus 2 times x sub 4. Here's 1 f of x sub 4, and here's my second f of x sub 4. So we've got two of those that we've got to account for. And finally, there's only 1 f of x sub 5 left over. And this is the formula for trapezoidal rule. If you have a uniform base among all of your trapezoids, or uniform width, then we have h over 2 times f of x sub 1 plus 2 times each of your interior function values plus f of x sub 5. Now the question is, why are we multiplying each of the interior function values by 2? And the reason is, this f of x sub 2 here, this, uh, this trapezoid length, is actually the length of two trapezoids. It is being applied to the right-hand side of trapezoid number one, as well as the left-hand side of trapezoid number two. So when we find the area 
of trapezoid number one, x sub two is my b2. But when I find the area of trapezoid number two, x sub two, or f of x sub two, is my b1. And you'll notice here, f of x sub two is my b2, f of x sub two is my b1 in my second trapezoid. And so when I factored out the h over two, I have two f of x sub twos, one from the right of trapezoid one and one from the left of trapezoid number two. So the way to remember this is the outer lengths are alone and all of the interior lengths are multiplied by two. And once again, this is the formula for trapezoidal rule where here we had four different partitions. However, you could have as many partitions as you actually need.